Hi everyone, this is Dungeon RPG, and this is a little bit of a different video, different kind of video today. And I'm gonna going to do a Mailman Tuesday video. As you can see, I just got a whole bunch of stuff in the mail. And uh, as you might know, that I just recently got back to the Pokemon Trading Card Game. And all of these are going to be somewhat uh, Pokemon and uh, Pokemon TCG related stuff. And throughout the video, I'll be doing constant shoutouts to all the sellers that I really like, whether it's uh, domestic or international. So Starting with the first one right here is a seller actually bought from on Amazon. It's called One at a Time Canada. You probably never heard of it, neither have I before this. This is actually the first time I bought any Pokemon cards on Amazon. And right here, it's I got a couple of Gallades. As you can see, they're in just perfect condition from this from the uh, top loader inside the bubble mail pack and I definitely need these guys for my deck so there is the Gallade and once again this is one at a time Canada I'll definitely be tracking down the seller and get more things from them soon and another one I got here is from a private seller from the US and this mail actually got to me rather quickly and it's always nice when they include some kind of message in their mail you know so these really sleeves look really nice and they are a Zora and uh, a Zora Arc Reverse Foil. Both of these are from the new uh, Breakthrough set as well. So thank you again MRL for these cards. And the next one I have it came from Royal Mail all the way from the UK. And this is from a company called uh, Hills Cards. And uh, what I had in here it was just mailed in a cardboard. This is quite creative, actually. And another top, a uh, couple of top loaders with the um, couple of, actually three Zoroarks. Let's see if I can open this one right here. And all of them are in uh, penny sleeves as well. These are just the regular hollow Zoroarks. And just to complete my place out of four. And the next one, it's a thicker package. This one came all the way from uh, Haruda, Japan. And this is actually what made me wanted to record this video in the first place, because I bought a bunch of coins from the seller, and lo and behold, they included two Pokemon Treta chips in this, this package for free. These are my first two Pokemon Treta chips. I've never held any of these in my hand before. So, so yeah, when these fell out of package, I was just I was super excited. I was just like, oh my god, it really it makes me so happy whenever the sellers include these extra presents in the, with their purchases. And uh, now I want to show you guys all these coins I have. Let's see. So it looks like they're all uh, wrapped separately for some reason. Oh, they're all kept in uh, card sleeves too. We got a Lugia, still in its original wrapper. This this one is Japanese exclusive, I believe. So after a ton of struggle with all the tape and wrapping material, finally got all of the coins out of their respective packages, and they are all in individual sleeves. It looks like they, these must be. The uh, KMC clear sleeves or something, like they're super sturdy. Even after removing all the tape, none of these got bent out of shape, which is crazy. You guys saw uh, the Lugia coin. And another one we have a pink chassis coin. And once again, the backing tells you this is Japanese original and exclusive. A gold Pichu coin. Pichu. <laughs> And these are one of the uh, originals as well as this Pokemon card game Neo. So they're from the four Neo sets. And a Chansey. Did I just call Blissey? Did I just call Blissey Chansey? No, sorry, that was Blissey. And this is Chansey. And the good old energy symbols at the back. Yeah, these sleeves are just really amazing. I have no idea what they are. If you guys watching this know what kind of sleeves this might look like, please let me know. A Zatu coin. Another golden colored one, and once again from the Neo sets. And some of the uh, oh, these are much older. 
a Raichu coin. I believe there's an English one of this that are in uh, from uh, from the earlier wizard sets, and they were just in a much uh, thinner kind of material. And this is Gloom. Green coin? <laughs> I think most, if not all of these are all Japanese exclusive. Alakazam? I believe uh, the English Alakazam coin is, uh, again, one of those thinner ones that came out during the gym, the gym sets. Trico. Mm, the green looks a little off on camera. But this uh, just looks just like our, our Trico coin. A Celebi, my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> All of these are in super nice condition, except for well, the last two. These are actually, I bought them separately, a set of Versus coins. Uh, as you can see, uh, they're both kind of... Uh, got this yellow tint to it, unfortunately, just from, just from Sunburn. And uh, one of them is a little rough. I think this, uh, I'll keep one of them in my uh, coin collection binder, and this other one I'll be actually playing. This is the aforementioned infamous coin collection, which uh, I can, I had an old video on this, but uh, I'll show you guys the updates in another video. So, yeah, as you can see, uh, like all of these are going to be new adding to my collection. I don't, I uh, have like one bless C right there, but it, uh, I don't have any of the other ones. So it's like super awesome. <laughs> and once again, thank you so much for these treta chips. These are so cool. <laughs> and then coming up next, we got another Canadian domestic seller. It's called Kazillion Cars. What do you do when you have more than a million or a billion cars? You have a Kazillion Cars and uh, they're they operate off Quebec and uh, also, and being domestic, they ship really quickly as well. And this is a big stack of, uh, I think most of these are full R cards. And I never knew these gigantic top loaders existed either. So let's uh, open these and see what they are. So at the front, there is a single top loader. I think these are just uh, some supporters. We have a full R Karina. And uh, for our Winona, really love the texture on these cards. <laughs> Just awesome. And then the huge pack, of course, we have the guy in front, John Cena. Uh, our full art Machamp. This is a super nice top loader. <laughs> it fits like probably like 10, 15 cards in there. I'm not sure exactly how many. And of course, star of the show is gonna be our full armor champ going straight into my deck. Bridget! My memory was Bridget goes all the way back to Pokemon Box and Ruby and Sapphire actually still have my Japanese copy. And uh, I was so happy that she made a return in the recent Pokemon Bank. And this, again, this is going to be a super useful card as well. And then these are some of the break cards. We got Noivern Break, Chestnut, and uh, Florges. I think these are the three that I was missing from... Um, so from the pre-release, the two I pulled are Marowak and Zorark. So these are the other four breaks from the set. More supporters, we have a Wally. And these are going to go straight into my Latios and Latios collection. A set of uh, Latios and uh, Mega Latios. Both the regular and the full art ultra rare. And this is the aforementioned uh, complete Latios and Latios collection. And these cards are, these cards I got are just gonna go straight in here. Yeah, it's like now we we suddenly have, I think, six more Latios than we do with Laddie, yes. I found him thanks, there's more cards. Uh, this is from uh, another Canadian seller. Uh, it's, I believe it's called Armbow Cards or Armbow Collectibles on eBay. Again, a great seller I've been buying from this person ever since I just 
came back this time. And what we got inside here is actually got a couple of mails from them, and uh, this is the first one. Got once again a Bridget and uh, Giovanni's speech. <laughs> that is the latest trend, Giovanni's scheme right here. These are actually one from an auction. And here's the second pack also from Anbo. And I believe these are going to be the the, the play sets that I need for for another deck. And you guys know I've been playing Machamp, so here's my playset of four Machops. And then the rest are going to be all going to be nine March cards. So I got for Jotic, for Pumpkaboo. Lampins and these rest are going to be tech cards. Gorgeous. That gorgeous ability though, that's gonna make a slash. Last but not least, we got this giant box that came from Osaka, Japan. a Pikachu Pokemon Center bag. <laughs> this is awesome. And inside we got... Oh, I've been really wanting these for a while. Look at these sleeves, guys. <laughs> these are sleeves that are included in the... Uh, I think in the uh, Mega Manectric and Mega Gengar and uh, all of those uh, master in those master build decks that uh, Japan had where you get all of the competitive cards in one box and uh, I think 32 sleeves were included in one of those uh, in one of those master deck building boxes that you get and it's actually from the same seller. Last time I bought the uh, Full Art Skyla cards, which were these from them, from this guy, he included uh, these super nice sleeves. I really had to do a lot of searching to find out what these sleeves are from, and finally I was able to get a few sets of these. As you can see on the back, it's this uh, Pokemon card game, and also the writing goes through to the back. So and there we go. So yeah, that's it for a kind of lengthy video and thank you guys so much for watching me opening a bunch of mails that I just got today and uh, if you guys do like these and if you like Pokemon cards, I'll definitely be doing more of these videos in the future. And uh, if you have any questions about uh, any of the stuff I got today, please feel free to leave a comment down below and uh, I'll see you guys soon in another video. Take care.